The past is a mirror to the future. Or so a friend once said to me. I did not believe it then. I do now. The past walks with us. Its face is the face of all those we have hated. All we have loved, all we have failed. They say that to be an agent of the Imperial Inquisition is to see the true horror of the universe and still have the will to prevail. As with all things, there is another face to the truth. I have looked on the terrors of the universe and cast them down. I have judged billions and forgiven some. I have known victory and touched defeat. And the lesson that all my years as an inquisitor have taught me is that it is not enough to prevail. We have to endure the poison of history. We have to survive our own sins. My name is Gregor Eisenhorn. And these deeds were mine. Hunting the recidivist Murdin Iclone, I came to Hubris in the dormant of 240.M41, as the Imperial Sidereal calendar has it. Dormant lasted 11 months of Hubris's 29 month lunar year, and the only signs of life were the custodians patrolling the precincts of the hibernation tombs. Where are the tomb's custodians? They are making their rounds. Knowing we approach? Knowing we expect to meet them? I will check. I had heard of the bitter cold and prayed to the Emperor that I would never feel it again. How? Stay back. Processional 212 was a hibernation tomb at the west end of the Great Imperial Avenue. It housed 12,142 members of the hubris ruling elite. Careful, Loris. You know how dangerous Iclone is. He's an animal, a dangerous one, but we'll put him down. We have him cornered. That'll make him more of a threat than ever. Watch your back. You too, Eisenhorn.
I admit I was excited. Eager to close and conclude a business that had lasted six years. Iclone had evaded me for six whole years. I studied his methods every day and dreamed of him every night. Now, I could smell him. In every direction, rows and rows of ice berths ranged down the smooth basalt chambers. It was like walking into the Imperium's grandest morgue. Their eyes were dark and unforthcoming, as though they had done this mindlessly, by order. All my life, I have had a reputation for being cold, unfeeling. I am not, but I possess a singular force of will. To feel pain, fear, or grief is a luxury I cannot afford. Throughout my career, it has served me well to steel myself against all that this wretched galaxy can throw at me. Loris Vibben had served with me for five and a half years. In that period, she had saved my life twice. When I recruited her from the clan slums of Tornish, it was for her combat skills. But I came to value her for her sharp mind, soft wit, and clear head. I stared down at her body for a moment. I believe I may have uttered her name. I made a promise to myself. I would kill Iclone with this gun.